Okay, hello everyone. We are going to continue with asymptoms and we are going to uh, find about the uh, methods to find the... Uh, we have learned about vertical and horizontal asymptoms. Now we are going to learn about the uh, lead asymptom. And the uh, uh, first uh, method is uh, Limes, uh, Limes, First, limit of a function of f of a f of x, limits f of x, uh, When x goes to plus minus infinite, uh, then uh, we have uh, something. We study. Okay, we are going through the example y equals to ax plus b, and we will find a and b uh, so that we will have a, a lind asymptom. And we are going to build y minus ax minus b equals to zero, x goes to plus minus infinite and uh, and we are going to solve a equals to y minus b divided by x and uh, And uh, a is y divided by x limits, and uh, b equals to y minus ax limits of this. We are going to have an example y equals to x2 minus 4x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Is, uh, it must go to plus minus minus 1. x goes to plus minus this one. And uh, we are going to have a equals to limits y divided by x is x2 minus 4x plus 1 divided by x2 minus x limits, which is the uh, which is uh, which is corresponding to x2 divided by x2, which is 1. And then uh, b equals to y minus ax equals to x2 minus 4x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 minus ax. a is 1 is minus x, which is 
x2 minus 4x plus 1 minus x2 plus x divided by x minus 1. And this is uh, 1 minus 3x divided by x minus 1. x goes to uh, plus minus infinite, which is uh, 3. Minus 3. Minus 3. Then y equals to ax plus b equals to x minus 3 is lined. Lined. Asymptote. Okay. Another example is y equals to x squared x minus plus 1 divided by x minus 1. And uh, which is uh, a equals to Limits y divided by x is equal to limits x plus 1 divided by x minus 1, which is 1. And uh, b equals to y minus ax is uh, and uh, And this x multiplied by x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 uh, minus 1. And uh, it is uh, x multiplied by x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 minus 1 divided by squared x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 plus 1. <clears throat> and this is 2x divided by x plus 1 minus 1 divided by this plus 1 and here is minus and uh, it is then x goes to plus minus infinite this one is is 2 and the other one is uh, 2 as well and it is 1. Then y equals to ax plus b is x plus 1 is lint asymptote. y equals to 2x2 minus 5x plus 1 
divided by x minus 1, then x goes to plus minus infinity. Then v, because y is going to plus minus infinite, or yes, then we can use we can use the division is going to plus minus infinite, then use division method. And it is 2x2 minus 5x plus 1 divided by x minus 1, then it is 2x, it is 2x2 minus 2x. It is minus 3x plus 1. It is minus 3. It is minus 3x plus, uh, plus 3. And it is minus 2. Then y equals to 2x minus 3 minus 2 divided by x minus 1. And then and then x goes to plus minus infinite then it is 2x minus 3 is a linked asymptote and he is a infinite. The another example is y equals to squared x4 plus 4x3 plus 1 divided by x2 plus 1. When x goes to plus minus infinite, y goes to plus infinite. Then we use the uh, division method x4 plus 4x3 plus 1 divided by x2 plus 1. Then it is x2, it's x4 plus x2. Then it is 4x3 minus x2 plus 1. It is plus 4x, 4x3 minus plus 4x. It is minus x2 minus 4x plus 1. Then it is minus 1. Minus x2 minus 1. It is minus 4x plus 2. Then y equals to x2 plus 4x minus 1 squared. minus 4x minus 2 divided by x2 plus 1. x goes to plus minus 0, this goes to 0, but this one goes to it is corresponding to corresponding to plus minus x plus two. We have two lean asymptotes. Um,
we have another network too and uh, and the method is cross to cross section and it is very good example we have it uh, y equals to x squared x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 and when x goes to plus minus infinite y goes to plus minus infinite because of this and uh, we know that we know that uh, y equals to ax plus b is a lean asymptom which which is uh, which uh, has the same y and then we are going to use x squared x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 equals to ax plus b Then uh, we have uh, a2x2 plus 2abx plus b2 equals to x2 multiplied by x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. And we get a2 minus 1 x3 minus a2 minus 2ab plus 1 x2 plus b2 minus 2ab x minus b equals minus b2 equals to 0. Then uh, a2 minus 1 is 0, a is plus minus 1, and here 1 minus 2 uh, minus plus 2b plus 1 is 0 then uh, gives us b equal to 1. And it yields here 1 minus 2 B is plus minus B is is minus plus one and we put it here it is one it is two then it is plus 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, this cannot be 0, then a cannot be plus 1, but a minus 1, then it is 2, and it is then
then y equals to plus minus x plus minus 1. is linked asymptote. Another example is y equals to x2 divided by x2 plus 2 equals to ax plus b. Then x2 divided by x4 divided by x2 plus 2 equals to ax plus b power by 2 then we have a2 minus 1 x4 plus 2ab x3 plus b2 plus 2a2 x2 plus 4abx plus 2b2 equals to 0. And this must be 0, and this must be 0. Then a equals to 1, and b equals to 0. a is the plus min minus 1, plus minus 1 and b equals to 0. Then y equals to plus minus x is the lean the, the lean the the lean the asymptote. We can use another method and it is uh, um, correspondent y corresponded by x2 divided by uh, x and it is when x goes to plus minus infinite is plus minus x and it is here um, another example is y equals to x minus 1 plus minus x2 minus 4x plus 5. <coughs> it is corresponding by x minus 1 plus minus x minus 2 which is two x minus three and uh, the other one is one then we have one lint asymptote and one horizontal asymptote. The other example is uh, y equals to x2 plus 4 minus x plus 2. It's uh, uh, corresponding to 
minus x minus x plus 2 and it is uh, minus 2x plus 2. It is uh, is minus plus, and the other one is two. Another example is uh, another example is y equals to third squared x3 minus 3x2 plus 4x minus 1. And we have a correspondent is x minus 1. which is the lind, the lind uh, uh, asymptote for x goes to plus minus infinity. Now we have another y equals to 5 divided by squared x plus 5 plus 1 divided by x plus 2, no, they appeared again, plus 4, and x belongs to 2 and plus infinity. Then, x equal minus 2 is a vertical asymptom and x uh, equals to minus 5 it doesn't belong this um, uh, interval and uh, we cannot talk anything about it but when x goes to plus minus infinite is plus infinite not minus because the minus it doesn't here this this is zero and this is zero then y is four and it is horizontal asymptote Another example is y equals to x minus 3 plus x2 divided by absolute x2 minus 9. x2 minus 9 is bigger than 0 then x bigger than 3 and x less than minus 3 and x equals to plus minus 3 is uh, uh, vertical asymptoms and uh, when x goes to plus minus 3 we have y goes to minus infinite and it is uh, x2 plus 9 is corresponded by x then 
then uh, y is x minus 3 plus x2 divided by x equals to x 2x minus 3. is 2x minus 3. Okay. It is lind. It is lind uh, asymptote. Okay. Now, if y equals to arc tan x, then x equals to tan y, x goes to plus minus infinite, y goes to plus minus p half, which is uh, two horizontal asymptotes. Y equals to AX plus B plus X2 minus 4X. We will uh, decide A and B in such a way that when X goes to minus infinite, Y is minus 2X. Okay, we know that... Uh, squared x2 minus 4x is uh, corresponding to minus x minus 2. Then we put it here, uh, ax plus b minus x plus 2 is minus 2x. Then a minus 1 is minus 2 and a is minus 1 and b plus 2 is 0 then b is minus 2 then uh, then uh, then we have solved the problem Another example, y equals to ax2 plus bx divided by squared x2 minus 4. We will have a and b when x is uh, goes to plus infinite. It is x minus 2. We know that absolute x2 minus 4 is equals to x is corresponding x then we put it here y is uh, ax plus b is uh, equals to x minus 2, then a is 1, and b is minus 2.
Another example is uh, another example is y equals to two x minus three plus absolute ax2 plus bx plus 5 and when x goes to plus infinite it is equals to 4x minus 1 and this one this one this is corresponding to a multiplied by x plus b divided by 2a putting here it's going to be a plus 2x plus b multiplied by a squared divided by 2a minus 3 and uh, it must be equals for x minus 1 then squared a plus 2 is 4 gives us a equals to 4 and uh, 2b divided by 8 minus minus 3 equals to minus 1 and b equals to um, Okay. Another example is uh, y equals to ax2 plus bx plus 3 divided by x divided by c and uh, x equals to 2 and y equals to 2x minus 1 are asymptoms. And x equals to, it is uh, a vertical asymptote means that this must be 0. x plus c equals to 0, then c equals to minus 2. Now, for this lean, we are going to use division ax2 plus bx plus 3 divided by x minus 2 then it is ax ax2 minus 2a x plus 3 minus nothing nothing here here is bx plus 2ax plus 3 then we have plus 2a plus b then it is bx plus 2ax minus 2 2 
a plus b, then it is 3 plus 4, a plus 2b, then y equals to ax plus 2a plus b plus 3 plus 4a plus 2b divided by x minus 2 is corresponding to 2x minus 1. This one because of this one. Then a is 2 and 2a plus b is minus 1. It is 4. b is minus 5. Okay, I must see something here. Okay, uh, we have a very interesting example here, and it is the um, t uh, is a uh, minus infinite and plus infinite, and uh, x equals to t2 divided by t plus 1, and y equals to uh, 2t divided by t minus 1. And uh, it is the uh, A and B X equals to T3 divided by T2 plus 1 and Y equals to 2T2 uh, two divided by T minus 1. Uh, we will, uh, they have asymptoms and for this, in this part, we get T equals to 1 is uh, give gives us x equals to 1 divided by 2 and uh, it is a uh, vertical as uh, asymptom and it is a uh, whole it is vertical asymptom and it is horizontal uh, asymptom and for t And here, for t, t equals to minus 1, then y equals to minus 2, divided by minus 2, it is 1. Then we have also horizontal asymptote. In this part, we have this, t equals to 1, then x equals to 1 divided by 2 and here it hasn't, it is always positive. Then we have only vertical asymptote and a horizontal uh, asymptote. Okay, it was the last example. Uh, see you in next uh, 
tutorial when we uh, have uh, cross sections or uh, no, not cross section, um, asymmetric, symmetric. We are going to have a symmetry of the uh, function and uh, then uh, we are going to discuss about the symmetry. Okay, see you in next uh, in next uh, video.